Hi, welcome to the Aru Group. Today I just want to show you a device, a little tiny device which can fit into your bag is very expensive and very useful for any trader. This device called as an increment borer. A borer which helps me to identify the annual rings, the growth rings, growth annual rings we consider and the hardwood percentage and the oil content in a given sample. First, we want to discuss about the increment borer. Why increment borer is necessary? Is it necessary for all the farmers? No. This is not required for every farmer, but this is absolutely required for any trader or a consultant like me. Because we need to identify the best seedlings or a best plantation. In order to do that, we have the certain criteria to follow. The growth, annual rings, girth pattern, everything. For our research purpose, we are constantly using these things. There are several tools. These are one of them and uh, we'll show it. This is a tiny box which we bought from other parts of the uh, India. I mean, uh, this is not from the Karnataka. So right now I'm just trying to open it. You can see here a blue stick. This is a basically a completely a iron rod. Okay, a very hard metal you can consider. Maybe a alloy also, a composite metal, I mean. Uh, but uh, the thing is, this is very small hardly about 13 14 inches okay hardly about 13 to 14 inches which is very uh, grippy in hand and uh, it is weight weighs about in a hollow weighs about 300 grams and uh, completely filled weighs about 700 grams okay the it was developed in the year 1856 by bags okay and uh, see here there is a borers there is a uh, drilling thing you know what we say borers these are generally called as the borers and uh, this is a st sting rod which uh, helps me to get the sample out of the tree which when we bore it and uh, this is very um, small in terms of drilling so if at all i drill the plants there will be absolutely no physically high damage there will be micro level damage but we can fill it up and uh, this is how we need to uh, insert the rod from the opposite side where uh, there will be a locking mechanism once we insert the rod this locking helped me to hold the rod in its position okay once it is done it's time to drill the drilling process includes like the thumb rule is we have to drill it at the chest level okay chest level is considered as the ideal for drilling so that the farm factor or the girth of the tree will be a best possible condition in that position okay and before drilling, we need to identify the circumference, circumference or diameter of the tree. To do that, we take a help of tree caliper. This is a tree caliper, very lightweight material. Uh, tree caliper helps me to identify the diameter of the tree. Now, when I got the diameter of 16 inches, now I have to take the drilling up to 8 inches because 50% of the diameter is required to get the proper readings. Okay, If you are new to the channel, if you are new to the my videos, I request you to follow my videos and share the videos and subscribe my channel so that you get the proper content on the quality of the timbers. We are a forestry graduate. We educate farmers in terms of the cultivation, in terms of management practice, in terms of sales. Okay. We take care of the, all the plantation development as well as the sales part of it. We do have our own nursery. If you are looking for any seedlings, any development in the farm will help you out. Okay. Now the drilling will be done at chest height. You can see here. This is the part one. Please do subscribe my channel so you can you don't miss the part 2 that will be done in the red sandal. Let's get into the drilling in part 2. This was just a beginning of the video. I just want to people understand the device uses. So thank you for watching. Thank you.